Hi everyone, welcome to the Bioinformatics Coach channel. In today's video, I am going to show you how you can install the Bros Wheeler Aligner using the source code. So, Bros Wheeler Aligner, uh, which is also known as BWA for short, is a tool that is used to map sequences against a reference genome. So, this is a page that um, gives a brief description about it. So, you can just get to that page. The link to this page in the description box. Our focus today is on the installation aspect, so I'll just move straight to it. So, in order for you to use BWA or in order for you to also install BWA, you need to have a Unix like operating system. And so, here I am referring to Linux or Mac OS. So, make sure you have any of these installed. Of course, the procedure I'll be using is for a Linux system, but you can use the same procedure for a Mac OS system as well. It's, it's going to work. So, um, that's the requirement you need a Linux system. So for the procedure what we are going to do is to first download the source code which will be in a zipped um, format and then we extract the contents and then we compile um, this source code and then we get our binary file and then we now set a path to the binary file so that we can always um, run it straight away when we open the command line or the terminal. So let's move into it so this is the github page where we are going to download and uh, the source code and so on this page let me also say that I'll, I'll put the link um, of this page in the description box so just use that i repeat the link to the github page will be placed in the description box so just get it and then um, also follow this tutorial so on the github page get to the right side here just follow my cursor here and then on the right side, you will see releases. Let me just scroll up a bit. Releases here, where my cursor is. So that's where we are going to get um, um, the source code. So here we have the latest here, which is BWA 0.7.17. So we will just go by the latest. So let's click it. And then after clicking, you'll be sent to another page where you have the source code compressed in different formats but we will go for the zip one that's simple to do so this is it now to download you can just click on it and then you can download or you can also use the command line but because i'm using the command line i'll just um, do that on the command line so what i'll need to do is to get the download link and so on my browser here i'll just right click and then go to copy link this one here, I'll just copy it and then I'll move to my terminal and then do the download from there. So let me just open my terminal and then we will continue from there. So this is my Linux terminal. I'm using CentOS, but I repeat, this activity can be performed on a Mac OS system. So the same procedure that you are likely to use. So you'll be fine. Okay, so let me just do an LS. Um, Linux, that's one of the things we do a lot. So at the moment, these are my directories, which you don't need to have anyway. It's not part of this tutorial. So I'll first download the source code and I'm going to use Wikis to do it. There are other tools that you can also use to download stuff from the command line. So any appropriate one should be fine. So for Wikis, I just type Wikis and then I will specify or I'll provide it with a download link which I have already copied which is this one here and so once I have this I'll execute this command to get a zipped file so downloads have been done this is a small file so let me do an ls here to see the file here so this is a file this is what we need okay uh, let me just clear the screen to make it nicer do an ls again here so the next thing we are going to do is to extract the contents this is compressed this is zipped so we need to extract the content so um, i will say unzip and then i will specify the name here there's it and then i will just run it and then we have it extracted for us let's clear the screen and then just do an ls here ls and then you see a directory here called bwa 
0.0.7.17. So this is what we need. So let's do an ls in this directory. Let's see what I'm referring to here. So that's what we have here. Okay, so these are the source code. So we are going to compile to get the BWA executable file. So we need to cd to it. That means we have to move to this directory here. So I'll say cd BWA blah 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 like this. And then I will cd to it. So after seeding, let me even do a PWD here to, to check that I'm in the directory. So there's it and here. Of course, when I do an ls, I'll still see everything here. Great. Now let's clear the screen and move ahead. So what we are going to do is to do the compilation. So we are going to use the commands make and then make install. So our first issue make. And then this will start the activity to compile. And so we wait for us, it completes it. Okay, so make has been done for us. Let's clear the screen first. And then do an ls. So this is the executable file, bwa. So if I want to run it, because I am in the current directory, I'll just say dot slash bwa to just run it. It's very, very simple and easy. Okay, let's clear the screen again. Do an ls. So this file is here. Now, what we've done so far has been to compile and we have the executable, but we want to make our files more organized. And so what we are going to do is to create a new directory and then put this file in it so that we can always run it. Now, let me just show you something here. Let's cd back to the previous directory. So cd dot dot slash. Okay, let me do an ls here and we have this. Now, even though we have compiled BWA from source, because we are not in the directory at the moment, when we issue this command BWA, there is nothing there. Okay, this command will give you nothing because we have not set a path and that is what we are going to do. We are going to do this so that once we issue BWA like this, it will still run for us. So what we are going to do is to first create a directory. Let me clear the screen too and get stuff going ls. So we are going to first create a directory and then in the directory, we will now move the BW executable, which is now here to it and then export it so that we can always run using the terminal. So I will say make that apps. So the apps here refers to the name of the directory we want to create. So we have it here. So we are creating it now. Let's do an ls and you find it here. Now in this directory, we will create another directory called bwa and then we move the file there. So we say make the app slash bwa. So I'm just making it simple, but you can also make it more organized by giving file versions, but those are things you can explore. Now let's do an ls. Let's do an ls apps and you see BWA there. So now we are going to move, let's do an ls of BWA 0.7.17 there. We are going to move this executable into this directory here, which is in apps. Let's clear the screen. And then we say move mv BWA dash 0.7.17 and we have this there. So we are moving this to apps slash bwa and then we hit the enter button so now we have moved it that is what we are doing now okay so now that we have this it's now time to and go to the next step so we have it here so now let's do this ls apps slash bwa and you have it here 
So if I want to call BWA with the current settings, I'll say app slash BWA slash BWA. And it will still run for us. Okay, that's it. And let me also chip in that it's advisable that you always do some of these things in a directory that you know. Okay, so that you can and just um, make sure you know which parts to move to. Okay, so now we have everything set up, but still when we do BWA now, it's still not there. And that is why we are going to um, get the path and then just export it so that we can always um, get it done for us. So the next thing is to edit the dot .bashrc file and then put the path of the BWA executable in it so that when we open the terminal, we can issue the command. So let's first get the full path of the BWA executable. So let's cd to it here. So we say cd app slash BWA. And then here, let's do an ls. You have it there, but we want this one. So we say pwd. This is the path we need. We are going to use this to add to the path. So that means we are going to put this in the dot bash rc file. So make sure you also get your path. Please know that yours is likely to be different from mine. So make sure that you have done that. Now we have it there. So to edit the dot bash rc file, you need to first cd to your home directory. I repeat your home directory. So on a Linux system to cd or to move to your home directory, it's just this command cd. Only this one here, and then we can now cd to it. So let's cd, and now we are in the home directory. So if you are in the home directory, when you issue pwd, you see something like slash home slash username or how your whatever your system is configured for. So this is what we have now. So I'll use nano to edit, but you can also use vi or gneditor. You can use any text editor to do the editing, but I prefer to use nano. So I'll just say nano dot slash rc and then I'll open it. So I am in my dot bash rc file here and then I'll just come and then just uh, edit here. Okay. But let's go back and um, please edit. There's something I have to show you first um, here. So it's important that you first make a backup of your dot bash rc file. It's very, very important. So um, let's do this. The reason why we are making the backup is so that in case anything happens, we can just go back and then replace it with the backup file. So, but it's fine. It's just for, um, for, for, for safety reasons so, so that we can always get them streamlined. So just make sure you are following my instructions um, carefully. So I will say cp.bashrc here and I'll back it up as bashrc.back here. So do an ls and you see there is a backup file which we may not need anyway. So now let me edit the .bash rc file again. So I'll say nano .bash rc and then I'm here. So I'll just move down here and then I'll do the export. So I'll say export path equals dollar path here and then I give a colon and then I'll paste I'll paste the path for the BWA executable here. So this is how we do it. So it's important you follow it carefully. Now with the export you can also bring this one first here before this, that is if you have another version of BWA. So in that situation, it is this version here that will be executed for you by default. But let's leave it this way, we are just testing. Some of these things you can also explore 
when you get the hang of it. So this is how we do the exports. So let's continue here. And then we just exit it. Now, by the way, if you also don't want to edit the .bash file, you can just issue this command here on your terminal and it will run for you. But we want to make it permanent so that anytime you open .bash, you open the um, .bash, .bash terminal, you can just call the BWA and then just run it. So that is why we are doing it this way. So let's edit it. And then we are done. So now the next thing to do is to open a new terminal and then just um, test BWA. So let's open a new terminal now and then test. So now we have opened a new terminal. And so just type BWA and you have it there for you. Let me do it again. Type BWA and then everything is done straight for you. So this is how we do it. Now, if you also want to know where the BWA file is, you can just say which BWA, and then it will show you the full part, but those ones, you can just explore it. And so this is how we do um, the installation of BWA from the source code. So here, you can now start um, doing your mapping, doing your indexing, and then all that. So that's how we do it. Now, let me also say that in addition to the BW executable file that we generated, there are other files too that you may need. These files are also in the same directory where we did the compilation. Let's check these files out. So do an ls into that directory. Yeah, this one here. And then you will see these two files here, this and then this. There are files also here in the BW kits directory so lsbwa dash 0717 and then bwa kits and you see the files there these files as well what i normally do is that i copy these files into the installation directory i just want to be safe i don't really know whether they are dependent on but i just copy them and um, just to uh, be safe so i'll copy these files here and then this and then this I'll copy all of them to the installation directory. So let's start. So I'll say cp I'll start with this and then I'll also copy this one here. Perfect. And then I'll also copy the contents here. And then I'll specify them in the apps slash BWA directory. This is what I will do. Okay. Now, if you are a beginner, maybe this might confuse you. So let's keep it simple. Let's do it this way. So I'll start with this one, CP, this. And then I'll start with this first. And then I'll copy to apps. And then I'll copy the other one to into it. And then I'll copy the last one, which is here. Star. That means I'm copying the content, the entire content, everything into the installation directory. Perfect. So now if I do an LS. I should see all the files here. That is what I mean. So everything is now okay. So that's what we have here. So now everything is okay. So we can remove this file here, the backup file we created. So you do this when you know that everything is okay. So um, that will be all for this tutorial. Let me also get your, your comments and let's have some discussions as well. So thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next session. Or instead of saying see in the next session, let me say go and watch the next approach for installing BWA. Goodbye.